All right, well, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. This is Brenton in Latvia, and we're going to be here for seven more days. Yes, one week from now, December 15th, we're driving all the way from Latvia, through Lithuania, through Poland, through Slovakia, to Hungary. And there goes my daughter sliding down our hill. Oh, and she wiped out. <laughs> well, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas, and I hope that you're enjoying... Uh, Wherever, you're, wherever you are in the world, sunny California maybe, or maybe somewhere rainy, maybe somewhere snowy like it is here. Isn't it beautiful? Anyway, pray, please pray for us as we drive. It takes two or three days, probably three days with the family, to drive down to Hungary, uh, about 24 hours of driving. So please pray for safety as we drive in maybe snowy conditions or pray the way, way would be clear and safe. Um, but how do I feel about leaving Latvia? Honestly, mixed feelings. It's hard to leave. It's hard to um, change, go through a big change like this of a new country, a new language, new kind of ministry. But the same focus, preaching the gospel, making disciples, and glorifying God in Europe. Oh! <laughs> and um, pray for our kids as well. Um, they're happy about going, we're all happy about going, but you know, it's hard to say goodbye to friends as uh, this next week we have a lot of goodbyes to do, a lot of packing to do, a lot of just logistical, practical stuff, figuring out things like taxes and how our support level is and, um, you know, how to get ready for the semester and all that God's calling us to do. So. Uh, we do need more support. Not as much came in as we needed um, to buy a vehicle. Um, uh, perhaps we have enough for insurance and all those other things we need, the one-time expenses. Uh, few, a few of you gave generously and we're very thankful for that. And thank, very thankful for Calvary Chapel Monterey. Uh, yeah, good one as uh, they've been very supportive. And Calvary Chapel Santa Cruz, thank you for supporting our almost six years in Latvia. They have other missions things on the agenda, so now we're back to being supported by only one church, several friends and family members, and perhaps some of you watching this, the Lord will put it on your heart to support us as we go to uh, the Bible College in Hungary to train and teach future missionaries. Some of them will be um, Bible college students, some in the missions training program, uh, some in, they have different programs there. So that, that school has sent out hundreds of missionaries and they receive students from um, right now about 16 different countries. And so we're equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. I like one thing that um, Moody said, I'd rather put a thousand men to work than to do the work of a thousand. And that's the idea of the Bible College. Equipping people to do what we're doing in what we've been doing in Latvia. Because we know when we're just doing it by ourselves, we're not as fruitful, we're not as effective as if we had a team and there was a, if there was a bunch of people doing this. So pray for the Kingdom of God to expand in Europe. Please pray for us, the Powers family and pray about supporting us. If you wanted to support us, you can do so still at calvary.com. Click on the give and then select, I think it's gonna be Latvia Missions for a short time longer, um, but at some point it'll be updated as we move to Hungary. God bless you and thanks for your prayers. Goodbye. Go for it one more time, Lily. What? Go for it one more time. Oh no, isn't she cute? Yeah. No, don't do that one. What? That's dangerous. Come down the main way so I can see you. All right. All right. Hurry. And I'm really blessed by my children, Lily and Caleb. 
uh, and Samuel, of course, but Lily and Caleb are really growing in their faith. We've been reading the Bible just about every day. There she goes, fearless Lily. I love you, Lily. <laughs> <laughs>